Hello, welcome to this uh, fourth video of the series. In this video, I will be explaining that uh, how uh, to solve this problem. So, let us see what is this problem is saying first. So, in this problem, it is given a uniform plane wave is propagating in a medium. So, it is not given which type of medium, only written in a medium and the electric field is given and the medium property is given as epsilon r value is given, mu r value is given and sigma is also given and the question is to find alpha, beta and h. Okay. So, now as you know that uh, to, uh, to find out this uh, problem, we need to use some formula based on wave is propagating in free space or more wave is propagating in good conductor or lossy dielectric. So, to know that we have something called loss tangent. So, based on the loss tangent, we had a condition that sigma by omega into epsilon and if this is very very high compared to 1 then the medium is a good conductor or medium property can be taken as a good conductor and we can use the formula for a good conductor okay so now how what, what is this value will come so sigma is given how much it is given 3 3 divided by omega so you can see omega is given here 10 power 8 so if i compare this standard omega t minus beta z then omega value is 10 power t. So, it is divided by 10 power 8 into epsilon value is here. Epsilon r value is given here. So, epsilon is how much? Epsilon naught into epsilon r. Okay. Now, you can use the uh, epsilon naught uh, value from the calculator directly. So, if you use that, it will come around 3393 3, or near to that and which is very very high compared to your 1. So, that is why, so that is the medium the medium can be regarded as good conductor as it is satisfying that condition. Okay. Medium can be regarded as good conductor. Now, when the medium is now good conductor, then what happens? Your alpha will be equals to beta okay? and the formula will basically be same. So, that is equals to mu into omega into sigma divided by 2 okay? and this value you can uh, use uh, what to use for mu? Mu equals to mu naught into mu r. So, mu naught value you can use from calculator directly. So, here the value will come as 61.4 nepper per meter. So, this is important the unit and beta is how much? Beta is equals to 61.4 radian per meter. So, see here both will be same alpha is 61.4 and beta is also 61.4 both will be same. Okay. Now, Next question is what to find the E field. So, what will be E field? So, E equals to E naught into the power minus alpha z cos of omega t minus beta z into A e. So, we need to find what will be A e. Okay. So, to find E naught, so what we need to do? So, that is equals to eta into h. Okay. So, that is equals to how much? We do not know what is eta value. So, we need to find it out. Before that, we need to find the eta value that is equal to mu epsilon, sorry, it is mu omega divided by sigma. So, that is the formula for a good conductor. So, if you use the value, then we will get eta value as 800 pi divided by 3. Okay. Next is so we need the phase also. So, tan 2 theta n is equals to how much sigma by omega epsilon. Okay, so, that we have calculated initially remember sigma by omega epsilon we have already calculated. So, that is uh, value is 3393. Okay. So, this tan 2 theta n is equals to 3393 that implies your theta n taking the tan inverse of those it will be 45 degree or pi by 4. Okay. So, now we know what is the value of eta also and what is the uh, E value, H value we know. So, what will be now E naught? 
so e not is equals to in question okay e field is given h field is asked to do sorry so now your h not will be how much h not is equals to e not divided by eta from this formula so that will be <coughs> that is equals to e is given as 2 here you can see so it is amplitude e not is given 2 here yeah so 2 into and uh, eta value we have to take 3 divided by 800 pi so that is equals to 69.1 into 10 power minus 3 now you know all the values and we need to uh, write the expression for h one more thing is pending what is a h direction so here it is h sorry h and it is also h okay so what is the h direction now so to find that we know a h is equals to a k cross a e so that is equals to a z cross a y and you will get as minus a x ok. So, now what you can do you can just directly write the value of your h or the final answer. So, h is equals to minus 69.1 e to the power minus 61.4 alpha sorry 69.4 61, 61.4 into z then sin of 10 power 8 t minus beta value also we got the same 61.4 z and here one angle factor is there because we got it here here, here ok and the direction is a x direction is a x milli amperes per meter. So, now this is the answer to this question. So, this is the final answer expression for h and uh, this is where you calculate the values of alpha, beta all these values is calculated. So, in the next video I will upload uh, more problems on electromagnetic wave propagation. So, keep visiting and subscribe.